Hey guys, Shadefire here again. This is episode 28 of Let's Play American McGee's Alice. We're currently on Airborne Terror, I believe. Yes. Alright. So after that not exactly enjoyable maze level, I'm curious what they're going to throw at us next. Ride the thermal drafts like a giant falcon. Oh, good. Platforming level. Clava. Uh, this should be interesting. Actually, haven't we not seen these since way back in Dementia? Like the first or second level? Oh, jeez. Nope! That is not the weapon that I wanted to take out. This is the weapon I want to take out. Where'd they all go? Come on. Oh, they have nothing to bounce off of. And there goes my mana. Great. Anyhow. Platform ahoy. Also, note that uh, they're using that menu screen theme again. Which is neat, actually. It's probably one of my favorite tracks they've had so far. It's definitely got the right balance of mysterious and creepy and melancholy. Nope! Steam vents! That's a jerk... Hey, look, I didn't even fall in the lava. But yes, jerk... I'd say this game is about as frustrating as Silent Hill trying to play through the, for the first time. Just because, like, if I had played this before, I could have known that there were steam vents that would push you forward, but instead, the die wants to figure it out. But that's just the nature of games, really. You're gonna die the first time you go through. So that next time, you can perfect it. Like, now I'm gonna... not using my momentum, because... You do pick up momentum when you fly across these things, if you let it. I do like this is steam better than just a general platforming level, because you've got more room for error. This steam has a kind of wide bounding box for where it catches you and where you just fall through. So with that out of the way, we're gonna you know what save. I like to use the jacks against these things, but really in the way this level is structured, it's probably a lot easier just to ice wand them and hope that they land on solid ground so you can pick up their meta essence. This guy, I'm gonna have to waste it because fall them to the pit! Still, this platforming is definitely more likable gameplay than the friggin' maze. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just really not down with that maze. That was not cool. Man, I remember when these guys were annoying and problematic. And I only say that now because they've yet to blow me off the edge, but when they do, and they will, I might have to change my tune back. Okay, another carefully meted steam section. Which is fine. I can deal with this. Unless the steam suddenly shuts off on me. Aw, oh, fuck. Or I have to fight a banshee. Oh, never mind. Oh. Yeah. Like I said, change my tune. Fucking banshees. Well, that's unfortunate. Come on, banshee jerk. I suppose I could quick save on top of these, but. That just seems silly. I know it's kind of anything that's vaguely steampunk, but these uh these uh steam pipes and everything remind me of the Dwemer ruins from Morrowind. All full of busted up steam pipes and gear people. That was a good game. Should LP that someday. <laughs> Go on for a couple hundred episodes. Really, nobody should ever LP Morrowind because that is not something you want to watch somebody play for a long period of time. 
And also, you should never really <laughs> LV any Bethesda game because uh, they will break, they will crash on you, and you will have to start over your recordings. I know, <laughs> I've tested it before. And if there's one thing Bethesda games are good at, it's crashing horribly. I hope I'm going the right way. I feel like I'm kind of backtracking for some reason. Oh. That was a... If this is the end of the level, that was a pleasantly short level. And I cannot complain about it. Which it was. Well, with that out of the way, we're in Mystifying Madness next time on Let's Play American McGee's Alice.